The tragic implosion of the Titan submersible during its ill-fated dive to the Titanic wreck site in July 2023 has raised significant concerns regarding its safety and design. As the U.S. Coast Guard inquiry draws to a close, critical testimonies from safety experts have shed light on the structural failures that led to this catastrophe. The inquiry features contributions from the National Transportation Safety Board, that is NTSB, industry specialists, and former Ocean Gate employees, each providing vital insights into the myriad of safety issues that plagued the Titan. During a recent session, NTSB engineer Don Kramer detailed the various structural vulnerabilities inherent in the Titan's design. He emphasized a disturbing incident from a 2022 dive when a loud bang was recorded during the vessel's ascent, which might indicate a serious issue with the sub's carbon fiber hull. This incident raised alarms about how the hull responded under pressure and led to questions regarding its integrity in subsequent dives. The inquiry revealed that the carbon fiber material used in the Titan was unusual for deep-sea applications, which typically rely on thicker metal constructions to withstand extreme underwater pressure. Experts further illustrated the complexity of the Titan's hull, noting that it had been constructed in a cylindrical shape rather than the more conventional spherical design. This deviation may have contributed to unequal pressure distribution, ultimately compromising the vessel's structural integrity. The session also highlighted the crucial role of the viewport window, which was only rated for depths far shallower than the Titan's intended dive, a fact that raises further questions about the oversight and decision-making at Ocean Gate. In a pivotal moment during the inquiry, William Conan, CEO of Hydrospace, the company that built the Titan's window, testified about the risks associated with using a non-standard hybrid window design. Conan explained that the window had not undergone the rigorous testing necessary for deep-sea certification, despite repeated warnings from his team. He noted that Ocean Gate had rejected an offer to conduct a comprehensive safety review that could have ensured compliance with established safety protocols. As the inquiry progressed, Further testimonies revealed a troubling culture within Ocean Gate that prioritized expediency over safety. Former employees expressed concerns that financial pressures led to the bypassing of safety protocols. Amber Bay, the company's director of administration, disclosed that they faced cash flow issues and relied heavily on incoming payments from dive participants to fund ongoing operations, creating an unsustainable model that jeopardized passenger safety. The implications of these testimonies are profound, as they paint a picture of a company that may have overlooked fundamental safety measures in pursuit of adventure tourism. The Titan disaster serves as a cautionary tale for the deep-sea exploration industry, underscoring the necessity of adhering to rigorous safety standards and conducting thorough testing on all components of submersibles. As the inquiry nears its conclusion, it is evident that the lessons learned from the Titan tragedy must shape future practices in deep-sea exploration to ensure that no such disaster occurs again. The hope is that through these revelations, the industry can foster a safer environment for all who dare to venture into the deep unknown. Stay subscribed for more videos.